Hello everyone and welcome to another video on JavaScript programming. Kaushal this side from Simply Code and today we will discuss a new type of iterative control statement that is the while loop in JavaScript. In the previous video, we discussed for loop in JavaScript. For loops are the most compact form of iterative control statements, right? So we saw a practical program based on for loops. You can check out the video if you haven't checked it out already. Before we begin, please subscribe to our channel to ensure that you never miss any updates from Simply Code. Like the for loop, while loop is also an entry control loop, which means that the condition will be checked first. So the question here is how while loop is different from the for loop. If you guys remember when we discussed that we must know the exact number of iterations, then only we can use the for loop, right? So the while loop is preferred when we are not aware of the number of iterations or we can say we don't know if the condition will be true for a certain number of times. We'll start with the programming part now and then we will discuss more about when to use while loop over for loop. So let's start with the program. In this particular program, we will print odd numbers up to a specific number. Let's say we want to print all the odd numbers up to 50. So we want to print all the odd numbers from 1 till 50, right? We came across the same program in the previous video as well. But this time we will use the while loop instead of for loop. So the syntax for the while loop is relatively easy to use. The code goes like we start with the while keyword, then opening and closing round, round brackets and finally the body of while loop in curly braces. If you guys remember from the previous video wherein we used the for loop, we had three different parts, right? We had the initialization, we had conditions and the increment decrement part. Here we have only one condition and until this condition holds true, the while loop will be executed. For example, here we want to print all the odd numbers from 1 to 50, right? So we'll first initialize a variable. Let's initialize a variable first. Let's say we have a variable x and the value of x will be 1. We used here 1 because 1 is the very first odd number, right? After that, inside the condition, what we want to do is we want to print the odd numbers up to 50. So while the condition will be like while x less than equals to 50. So the loop will go till x is less than or equals to 50. Or we can say x less than 50. That depends on us if we want to check for 50 or not. So the odd numbers will go like 1 and then we have 3, then we have 5, then we have 7 and up to 50. So the last odd number will be 49. So inside the while loop, we will print the value of x. So here we will print the value of x. Let's print it document dot write. And inside this, we will print the value of x inside the h1 tag. Suppose we try to run this program now. It will go on an infinite loop. And the reason for this is we are not doing anything to increment the value of x. Just like in for loop, if you remember, we had the initialization first. We had the initialization here as well. Then we had the condition. We have a condition here as well. And then finally it has an increment or decrement part, right? So here we don't have that same increment or decrement part. We have to do it separately. So we'll increment the value of x here only. So here we will write x plus equals to 2 or we can say it is same as x equals to x plus 2. You guys are aware of it, right? So the reason is simple because we want to go from 1 to 3 to 5 and so on. That's why we use x plus equals to 2. We incremented the value of x by 2. Save it here and let's check the output. So here you can see it says 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 and so on and so forth till 49. So 49 is the last odd number before 50 because we are checking between 1 and 50, right? So 49 is the last odd number. Let me show you how the program goes into an infinite loop. So for that, what we have to do, we will comment this whole line here. Let's check the output now, save it. And here you can see it is refreshing forever. And this is basically how a program in an infinite loop looks like. The output of this program is the program will ultimately crash. So what we have to do, we have to 
open a new tab and then again we have to run the program with correct increment part so here you can see you can wait for it to become responsive or exit the page so here you can see we have all the odd numbers from 1 up to 50 and the last one is 49 coming back to the difference between the while loop and the for loop we did the same program previously right using the for loop so where to use while loop over for loop so consider a scenario where we are taking input from the user and the input from the user is why we want to do something let's say we want to print something on the screen or if the input from the user is n we want the process to be stopped we can give the condition in the while loop which will go like when the character y becomes n the process will be stopped we'll go through one such program once we are done with the dom manipulation part wherein we take the input from the user so that's all for this video guys see you in the next one where we'll go through the do while loop in javascript if you like this video do give it a thumbs up comment your doubts below share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe simply code thank you